I'm Tom Merritt for Tech Republic. Here are five things to know about consent phishing. <sighs> Remember when phishing was just a funny new term for tricking people into giving up information? Now there are so many variants, spear phishing, clone phishing, even whaling. But if you just don't communicate with people, you could avoid being fished, right? Well, meet consent phishing, a way to get your authentication tokens using only dialog boxes and links. Here are five things to know about consent phishing. Number one, it uses cloud apps. Might be Google, might be Microsoft, might be some other platform, but the malicious actor registers an app with a reputable cloud service and they just need to trick you into clicking a link that brings up the services permission request. And because the request comes from the trusted cloud service provider, people are more likely to accept the request for the malicious app that can then read and send your mail or manage your data. Coming in at number two, once consent is granted, it's pretty permanent until you change it on the cloud service. You change your password, you add multi-factor authentication, that doesn't matter. If you granted that app access, it'll have it until you revoke it. Up to number three, regularly review your apps on Google and Microsoft and Amazon and Facebook and whatever else you may have once granted access to something, go into security settings and look. You'll be surprised how many things you granted access to over the years. If you don't recognize something, revoke it. If it's legit, you can always grant it access again later. Sliding in at number four, admins, you can help. Users should only be allowed to grant consent to verified app publishers, or even better, only an approved list of apps you trust, and monitor your cloud platform for third-party app behavior that just seems odd. At number five, educate users. Make people aware that an app requesting permission could be a threat. Just knowing this will at least make them more likely to read the OAuth request before clicking, which can definitely cut down on the number of incidents. I suspect there will be no end to the variants of phishing out there, but spreading the word as each new kind leaps from the sea can help us all weather the storm. Hey, there's more where that came from too. Check out our other videos and articles at techrepublic.com. I'll see you there.